Good Thursday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder with the National Weather Service and your Alaska statewide weather. Low pressure sits just south of Haida Gwaii and it's still sloshing up some wet air into the extreme southern parts of southeast. Rains mainly over Haida Gwaii, but as this weather system merges with another low coming in from the west as we head toward the weekend and watch for colder air dropping further southward across most of Alaska, the threat for snow will start to become a part of your forecast. Though right now, temperatures will be mild as we head through the weekend and perhaps even into early sections of next week. So keep your eye on the weather there in southeast. Across the interior, cold air is on the move. And with that and uh, wet air still lingering across the uh, central and eastern interior, snow is falling around Fairbanks there already. Three inches of snow on the ground. And it looks like that will continue through at least 9 o'clock tonight. A winter weather advisor has been posted for the Fairbanks area as a result of that. So drive carefully and uh, enjoy the snow. Up across the North Slope, winter weather advisories are also posted. This threat is mainly due to additional wind. Winds gusting out of the west around 40 miles per hour will continue to lower visibility, uh, make sections impassable from time to time. But the, the greatest threat will be around the Beaufort Seacoast from tonight all the way through Saturday morning. 6 o'clock, blizzard conditions are expected to occur with about 3 inches of snow falling, but winds up to 50 miles per hour may make conditions pretty unbearable there for a time. Colder air is still on the move, and it looks like it'll push a cold front up to the Brooks Range as we get into Friday. The result of that is to increase the pressure gradient across most of the Brooks Range, and that means more air is moving in through tight places and creating stronger wind gusts through parts of the Brooks Range and parts of the central and western interior. Uh, through this evening and into early tomorrow morning, uh, places near Deering may still experience some poor visibility. We also expect uh, winter weather advisories to continue for the Brooks Range, especially the eastern side. They're generally along some of the highway passes. Watch for snow to continue across the eastern interior through the Alcan as the next wave of cold sinks southward. Temperatures are going to drop across the west coast as well, and the cold will keep on coming well through next week. So those on the west coast, southwest, Bristol Bay, all the way through Norton Sound and the Seward Peninsula, be prepared for much colder weather as we go through the weekend and into next week. It will be here for a little while. Snow showers may be found around Prince William Sound. Watch for the winds to come up there as well as we head through the weekend. A lot of outflow winds may be possible through the Cook Inlet region and out across the west. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder. Find us online anytime at weather.gov.